Don't, don't feel too good. They like me, too. You did a great show out at the motion picture home, John. <laughs> oh, yeah. we love you. We love you. <laughs> hey, what a great kick to have you both here. It's a great kick to be together. I'll bet it is. I was talking here. with Dick in the, briefly in makeup, and I said, when's the last time that you worked together? Officially, it was on... On the Dick Van Dyke show. Mm-hmm. And you yeah. said 1965. 65? 14 years ago. 14 years <laughs> ago. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that awful? Is that oh, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, you had such a great rapport, as you know, in this business. It's funny when you work with somebody like Ed and I have been together a long number of years. Yeah. And when you meet somebody and it starts to work, you immediately know it, but you don't exactly know why. The rapport is good between it's both so, of yeah, you. It's so hard to define. It's like a chemistry, and you can't really put any kind of a handle on it and say why. Right. People say, well, how does it work? And you say, it just, it seems to work. And if somebody else, you might not have that um, No, you develop a all. kind of a, a shorthand method of... Uh, of communicating, and it goes beyond words or actions, yeah. but there's something that you sense in each other about each other. Um, Dick is is going to be our guest on our show this Sunday that's what night. I hear. Hey, that's going to be mm-hmm. sensational. At Ten o'clock, and we hope you all watch because it's a very special show. And I found during that that week working with him, it was uh, almost like a a good marriage that separates for a while but comes back together again. It's all there, and it's so easy I've to never, write. I've never had it one incredible. like that. It was like <laughs> three. <laughs> Uh, nothing, I didn't say anything. I, was just, <laughs> I talk to myself in these years, you know, a lot. It goes through my head. Did you, had you met Dick before at all you did, when you did his show? No. You Never. didn't know each other at all? No. No, we met the first day of the reading, didn't we? That's right. And I thought she's awfully young. Had you, had you, had you, had you casted a lot, a lot of gals uh, or looking around for somebody to play your wife? At that I time? don't know. I just, I was hired for the job and showed up. That's all. I <laughs> and she walked in and you read together. And she walked in and there it was. And did you know right then? Well, I had read with uh, Dick, uh, with the, <laughs> no, you're Dick Van Dyke. Yeah. I had read with Carl Reiner uh, right. the day before, and he, w- he liked me, and then right. he brought me in to read with Dick. And I don't know what your feelings are. You said you I thought just... she was too young. Is that what you said? <laughs> well, those of you who might wonder why I have aged so much more than Mary. <laughs> 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 yeah, people like Mary always make you angry. They seem to go on infinity hold or something. Oh, well, yeah. actually, I'm a lot older than Mary. No, That's you're why not. I thought you were I'm so not young. A lot. What, 23? <laughs> <laughs> I know why you get along. You lie well. You lie well. <laughs> no, when the show started, Mary was 23 and I was 35. Oh, you weren't. I was too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still am. Can you see the Can you see the people at home trying to figure out how old Mary is now? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. That was really, that was real smooth move, Dick. Yeah, well, I mean. See, I had to lie about my age because I felt everyone would think I was too young, so I said I was 22. I was really 21. Yeah, you did that show, did you not? Uh, did you use an audience at that time? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Did you ever... Ed and I get to, it's in mood sometimes where, again, you cannot explain it. You, uh, there's a look, something happens, and, so, and we get uncontrollable. Oh, giggling it's like laughing in church oh, and we know we should we know we shouldn't do it as professionals because it's not fair to the audience you're sitting here having this wonderful time and they say what's happening to those two yo-yos yeah. <laughs> but something hits and we can't get control and i wondered if that happened when you're doing scenes we, we had a season of it yeah, yeah it was one whole year and i will never for the life of me be able to figure out what caused that i, I suppose some kind of repressed sexuality or something this That's was freudian no doubt about it yes. yeah but we, we couldn't do the line we couldn't, couldn't look at each other and it was awful because we would get past the point of just breaking up over something that was funny and begin to sense in each other's eyes yeah. that <laughs> you know he's going to break. So then I thought, well, I'll go ahead and break too. And he'd say, you fool, I was perfectly fine. Why did you do that? It's a terrible thing because the more you try to control it, uh, you, you, you just the little the, the corner of the mouth will go oh. just a little bit, and that's oh, just the yeah. other one in oh. oh, you're trying to do dialogue that you oh, learned. Yeah. There's no way out. You can't. Richard Deacon was the worst. Oh, yeah, the one who played Mel. Before he was either going to go up in a line or laugh, a fine film would appear on his forehead. It started to glisten, you know, and I knew. And then I would always go first. Right. And he never got the blame for it. I always got the blame for it. You mean you laughed with someone other than me? <laughs> yeah, what was your... I mean, we'll come back to that. We're going to take a break here. 